I'm trying to find like a game that will only take us one to two hours to finish. What do you guys think about Sally Face? Is it good? Have you guys seen anything about it? Pretty meh. Yeah. Hey, Juice Box. Hi, Juice Box. What's up? You just being a little cute baby right now? Just no, 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 no. That's that. Stop eating my chicken nuggets, Juice Box. Dude, I have sniper elite. Okay, you know what? <laughs> You know what, guys? You guys want to play Frog Detective? You know? Frog Detective, guys? <laughs> I'm dangling Frog Detective in front of your face. Let's do some Frog Detective. Should be, should be easy. Holy shit, why is it so loud? All right, Frog Detective time. Oh my god, look at his swagger. Hello, who is it? It's a supervisor. Hi, supervisor. Hey, how's life? Yeah, pretty good, I reckon. How are things with you? Oh, should I? I'm not gonna, you know what? I'm not going to do this annoying voice for Frog. <laughs> I'm gonna make myself tired with it. There's a little slot who owes an island just off the bay. Martin's his name. Says he's been carrying a ghost for about two weeks. It's me. I'm the ghost. I wish to be pegged by the heavy machinery. So get this. He hires a team of ghost scientists. What's a ghost scientist? I don't know. The ghost is still at large. So the head scientist there, a monkey, calls me up. They need help and they want the greatest investigator I have. So I said to them, I'll send my best investigator. But Lobster Cop wasn't available. So I'm asking you, the second best investigator. Thanks. So, are you up for it? I don't know, it sounds very scary. I'll have to be very brave. I believe in you, detective. That's just what I needed to hear. Thank you, supervisor. I'll do it. Woohoo! Dude, I, <laughs> I don't know why, but this is so fucking funny to me. It's up to you to solve the mystery of the haunted island. Why do you yell the haunted island like that? Because that's the title of the case. Fair enough. My magnifying glass. Yeah, baby. <laughs> this is great. I love this magnifying glass. <laughs> Swagger, dude. <laughs> Grace Bruxner presents A Frog Detective Adventure I can't believe the game is an hour long and 35 minutes of it is the intro. Starring the detective, Martin, Larry, Hey, I thought Larry wasn't available! Mo, the mouse mouse, Bernie, Fresh X, and the rest. What the fuck? That's just- what the hell? Case 1, The Haunted Island. I'm looking forward to this. Hey, over here! Hmm, maybe a man in a suit. I've heard so much about your adventures. I'm a huge fan. When you figured out who was behind the forest theft in Witchtown, I couldn't believe it. I thought nobody would ever solve that mystery. I mean, who steals an entire forest? Well, mad lad, that's what. <laughs> Oh, you've been following my blog posts? Yes, I'm Mystery Monkey 49 I comment all the time. I even made a funny joke once and you responded. <laughs> of course, I remember. Hi, Mystery Monkey 49 Please, Mystery Monkey 49 is my online. You can just call me Mystery Monkey. Of course. <laughs> this game is so funny. May I ask who the resident of this island is? Ah, that'd be Martin. You can find him hiding in the forest. He thinks the ghosts can't catch him there. Not true. Ghosts can catch you anywhere. Who should I talk to first? You're talking to me already. Okay, who should I talk to second? Larry, the tall red one. He always wants to meet new people. Although, I think mostly he wants new people to meet him. I get that. I don't want to put in effort. Shut the mat there. Oh man, you good? You need someone to save you? Hi. Howdy. What are you doing in there? Swimming. But there's a storm. Everyone keeps telling me to get out of the sea. But it's safer in here than it is up there. Why is that? No ghosts in the water. Ghosts can't swim. Well, I can't swim. Some ghosts can. You don't look that happy in there. I guess I'm not. May I ask why you're so sad? Well, it's kind of silly. I really want a magnet. What in the goddamn? I told you, it's silly. Why do you want a magnet? My dream is to attach a magnet to a boat and hold on. Oh, why? Boats are fast! I'm not fast. If I hold on to the magnet, I'll be really fast too. Nice! Ah. If it sweetens the deal, I can give you this big shell I re in return. I thought it might be magnetic, but it's not. Why do you think it'll be magnetic? Yeah, yeah, why would you think a shell is magnetic? How was I supposed to know? What am I, a scientist? I... Okay. <laughs> How long have you been in the water for? Hmm, maybe two weeks? Whoa, are your feet wrinkly? Ew, I don't know. Did you just shit and piss into the ocean? Are your pants still on in there? Is there anything you need to know? I want to know about his bathroom duty. Okay, you know what? Fine. Can I pick this up? Oh, oh he's so cute. What is that? Yum. But it's not mine. Just take, just take one noodle. They'll never know. They'll never know. Hi, it's me, Larry. I did not do it. Huh? The noises are not coming from me. I didn't. I, Larry, did not 
make those squeaky noises. That's like more suspicious about. <laughs> Are you even listening? I said I didn't make the noises. No, I heard. I just, I don't like being accused like this. I'm not accusing. Oh, you're not? That's such a relief. Can I? Are you gonna ask me questions? You ask me them. The questions, I mean. What can you tell me about the noise? Firstly, I am not the one making them. Yeah, but I know where they're coming from. What? They're coming from the cave in the forest. Why haven't you told anyone? Nobody listens to me. They say stuff like, well, Larry, if you won't listen to us, we won't listen to you. <laughs> Which is so weird because I do listen. Maybe they mean I am a really great listener. So how do we get into the cave? To get through there, you'll need some sort of explosive device. <laughs> Is that safe? We're dealing with ghosts here, detected. None of that is safe. I looked up an explosive recipe in one of the old chemistry books. I need toothpaste, some wool, a chunk of pure gold, and some pasta. I know where the pasta is. It pastas is. <laughs> oh, so the normal explosive ingredients then. What the fuck is this game? Yes, if you want to get into that cave, bring me those ingredients. I'll do my best. All right, off I go, off I go. What about you? Can I have your pasta? Hey, you're that detective, right? The one that monkey keeps going on about? That's me. I'm so glad they finally brought someone else in. I know nothing. I really shouldn't have taken this job. Why did you take it? I'll be honest. I thought it was a secret agent job. The job listing said ghost scientist. That didn't seem like a real job to me. I thought it was like a cover, you know? One that only smart people could figure out. Like me. Still could be a cover. Maybe they're testing you. Oh no! You're right. I better look competent. What do you know about the noises coming from this hole? I mean, I'm not great at this job. I'd be good at other jobs, so I'm just letting you know, but they seem otherworldly somehow. They have a weird and distinct tone. Sometimes it sounds like a bird's call, but only sometimes. Wow, that's a lot of good information. Thanks. Yes, I'm very good at finding things out, if you know what I mean. Bernie, I'm not a secret agent. Uh-huh. You mentioned you want to be a secret agent. Why? Uh, Secret agents get the best stuff. Haven't you watched Holy Spice? Like, for example, you've got a cool magnifying glass. I want one of those. I'm not a secret agent. Sure you're not. Bernie winks. Everyone knows that the magnifying glass is the coolest of the secret agent items. Dude, there's a scene in Totally Spies with lasers that I to this day cannot forget about. Get ready to tuck and roll. Hold up. No way! What Seven. the fuck? Oh, Hold back. None of this makes sense! Yeah. <laughs> That's what I remember about Totally Spies. <laughs> Great fetish fest. Yeah, I keep telling people who like Totally Spies are into letter today. Howdy. Hello. <laughs> Why'd you lay down too? Are you the, uh... Yep. Great. You brought my toothpaste shipment. Huh? Uh, no. I'm the detective. Oh, oh, okay. Can I call you D Tech? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I have some questions. Is that okay? Take it away, D Tech. <laughs> Your clothes. Why aren't you wearing a lab coat like the other scientists? It's my day off. I've been working so hard for the last two weeks. It's very important to take a break and get some sunshine. You're right. Uh, not about the sun. Yeah, I didn't pick a great day for it. Your winning smile. I hope you don't mind me saying, but you have wonderful teeth. <gasps> Thank you. I'm so glad someone finally noticed. How do you keep them so pearly white? With Dr. Tight Smile's 101 Tooth Whitening Cool Paste for Teeth, of course. Wow, where can I get some of my own? Do... Do you have teeth? <laughs> One of those really shitty Game Boy... Small... Get a big spider. I hate that they all look at me. It's like they're peering through my soul. Remember, do not split up when searching for ghosts like Scooby-Doo. <laughs> Who took my sunglasses? Give it back. Notes. Some hole noises? Need some tomatoes for soup. Who is ghosts? I'm not qualified. <laughs> science line. Do not go in. Wow, they're doing some real proper science here. Hey, how's it hanging? Eh, fine, I guess. Bored, mostly. Bored? That's suspicious. Suspicious? Why? Surely you can't just say I'm suspicious. There's no rule against it. I'm not being suspicious at all. I guess not. Sorry for calling you suspicious. That's okay. Why are you bored? Isn't hunting ghosts supposed to be exciting? For the first week, sure. Not now, though. I've been at this post the entire time. I'm shedding everywhere. Gross! I know! Why are you shedding so much? I haven't had a trim in ages. It's so yuck. I'm usually getting cut once a week, but it's been two weeks now. Imagine if foreskin grows back and you have to cut it away once a week. <laughs> Would that be fucked up for what? Yuck! <laughs> it's 
<laughs> so gross. Oh god. Oh no. Just let it grow out. What if it just gets longer and longer? <laughs> my jumper is made out of wool. <laughs> Are you for real? Yeah. That's weird. It's weird that you're wearing my hair. Wool is pretty gross. That, that's why I keep mine short. I don't think wool is gross at all. Okay, but what if I wore a coat made of your slime? What? Ew. Gross, right? Sure, but wool is worn by most people. This is the first time I've heard of someone wearing wool. I think that makes you the weird one. Plus, I'm pretty sure the shirt you're wearing is wool. What? I wish I'd never been born at all. I'm happy to take your wool away from you if you'd like. Is it just gonna be shirtless? Oh, yes, please. But you'll need something to clean it up with. Like a broom. Or like fire. What? I probably won't use fire. <laughs> what is this game? Can't believe I'm wearing wool. What if it's Barney's? It's me, Gordon. Barney from Black Mesa. What can you tell me about this hole? I hate this hole. It never does anything. It's... A hole. I'm a ghost scientist. I want to see ghosts, not holes. Hmm, want to see a ghost's holes? I got you, bro. Maybe the ghost is in the hole. Have you looked? I'm in your hole, bro. Dude, I wasn't expecting this whole ghost thing with this. Now I'm leaning into it too hard. I've looked. No ghosts in here. It's a pretty deep hole, but gets smaller as you go down. So maybe there's a ghost further down. I'm looking for the prostate. Do you hear any ghost noises coming from the hole? Sometimes, but not as many as Bernie and Larry's hole. Mm. <laughs> Stop talking about holes, I'm begging you. The dialogue is truly enchanting. I should have listened to the sign. The risk I took was calculated, but man, am I bad at math. <laughs> this might come in handy. Got a magnet. I know who to give this to. I brought you a magnet. What? Are you for real? This is a dream come true. Thank you so much. In return, I'll give you this big shell. I don't need it anyway. I don't know what to do with this shell, to be honest, but I'll figure it out as I go. Oh god, this guy looks... This guy looks exactly like the bird from Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. Uh, who, do you guys see that? Who was that? Who was that? What was that? Huh? Huh? Hi. Hello. Are you okay? Yes, I have just never talked to a detective before. I've heard so many nice things about you. I don't want the embarrassing. If I am embarrassing, that would be very bad. You're not embarrassing. That's very good news. But the conversation isn't over. There's still time. Uh, I have to be careful. They're just like us. For real, for real. Well, is it okay if I ask some questions? Questions, yes. You seem very nervous. May I ask why? Because of the detective thing I told you. Um, I am afraid of detectives. Maybe when I was a kid, I had a bad dream about a detective. You fuck young boys, Valdez. Are you a madman? I'm sorry to hear about that dream. What? No, oh, I didn't actually have a dream about that. So why are you so afraid of me? You've worn me down. Damn, your extreme detective skills. I'm nervous because of Mystery Monkey. Mystery Monkey is a huge fan of your blog, so I don't want to make a fool of myself in front of you. And I don't want to be embarrassing in case I mess everything up. Is there anything I do to help? There's a dance competition coming up tomorrow. I want to compete and show Mystery Monkey that I'm really good at dancing. Could you ask Mystery Monkey and find out? I can give you this mouse wash mouthwash in return. What can you tell me about the ghost? There's a ghost? Aren't you a ghost scientist? Oh, ghost. Scientist, not toast scientist. That makes so much more sense. You thought you were a toast scientist? Yeah, I only took the job because, you know, because you like toast. Yeah. So you haven't heard any weird noises? Oh, for sure. Heaps of weird noises. I don't think they're coming from a ghost, though. What makes you say that? I haven't seen anything floating around as if a ghost was holding it. That happens in the movies. You have a magnifying glass, too. Ah, stop right there! Why? My shells! Don't step on my shells! They're very fragile and small! Aren't we all? I guess! Please, be careful. Okay. Are you still going to stand like that? Yeah! Why? I'm on alert! I am protecting my shells from dangerous frog feet. We always go back to the feet question, don't we? I don't mean to be rude, but... What shells? Can't see any shells. That's because they're small. How small? Look at your pee, -pee and you'll know. Oh my god! Oh jeez, oh my god! Sorry, but it's the truth. I had to get this one specially made for my tiny shells. Can I ask you some questions now? Ask me questions, just be careful. Do you know anything about that cave? I'm not even sure it's a cave. It just looks like a pile of rocks if you ask me. It's a cave for sure. Well, I guess we'll just have to agree to disagree. It's literally a confirmed cave. Potato, potato. Nobody pronounces it potato. I do. Really? Yeah. Fair enough. This game is so stupid. I love it so much. Why don't you just get a bigger shell? Ha ha ha! 
You fool! Hey! Sorry, it's just that there's not many big shells around here. If I could get one, sure. This magnifying glass would be useless to me. But I don't see a big shell around here, do you? We got one right here. What? How? It's a long story. Oh, in that case, I don't care. Anyway, I totally want the shell. I had this magnifying glass to look at tiny shells. But I won't need it now that I have this big shell. Cool, thanks. You're still standing weird. I'm still on alert. Here's the magnifying glass. <laughs> oh, hey! Oh, look at him. So happy with his shell. Oh my god, why are you on alert again? Always asking questions. He just doesn't want us near his shells. Alright, here's a broom. I need that to sweep up wool with. Oh, it is sad day! Who's the Sloth King? Oh, who are you? I didn't mean to startle you. I'm the frog detective here from the agency. Oh, okay. Don't sneak up on me like that. I was visible for the entire approach. But I cannot see I'm legally blind. Sorry, I'm just cranky. I haven't slept in two weeks. I'm Martin, king of the island. You're a king? Well, when I got here, there was nobody else on the island except for me and Finley. So I thought it was fine to declare myself king. I don't think Finley cares about that sort of stuff. Finley mostly cares about a dance competition. No, I meant to ask. Who's Finley? Oh, okay then. Do you mind if I ask a few questions? Go ahead. You mentioned a dance competition. Can you tell me a little bit more? It's tomorrow. Anything else? Best dancer wins. Got a question. Okay, I guess that's simple enough. Can you tell me about the noises and where they're coming from? I'm not exactly sure where they're coming from, but I know they're coming from a ghost. How do you know for sure? I have a book about ghosts. It's called The Ghost Guide. Foolproof ways to detect the spirit. I read most of it. Anyway, in the book, it says that most ghosts can't be seen. Get this. I haven't seen a single ghost yet. The proof is all there. Who are you? Who are so wise in the ways of science? You seem super nervous. Is there anything I can do to help? It's just the ghosts getting me down. I'm kind of annoyed too because I usually love hearing stories about ghosts. I read all about them on cyberweb.com. But now... I'm living one. I'm sure we'll get to the bottom of things. Bottom of the grave, more like. What? That made more sense in my head. I guess I mean like, we'll probably die before the mystery's solved. That's very dark. Dark. Just like the conclusion to this tale. You know, I'm a good detective, right? I've solved every case I've taken on. Except the mystery of how to put a hat on. <laughs> my head is a strange shape. It really is. The point is... You're safe. I'm going to find the culprit. The best thing you can do is sit and relax. Everything will be okay. I don't feel okay. I'm finding it really hard to calm down. I understand. Ghosts are scared. But it might not be a ghost. You really think it's not a ghost? Let's try a visualization exercise. What's a vis... You... Lishition... Exorcism. It's a thing where we pretend. Imagine! You're on a beach, surrounded by calming waves. You can feel the cool breeze on your face. The waves slowly move in, then out. Is a safe beach. What beach is it? This beach. This isn't a safe beach. There's a ghost here. No, the ghost is on holiday. Where is it? On a road trip. Can we visualize that we're on a road trip instead? But the ghost is on the road trip. Great point. Continue. Anyway, the waves are coming in and out slowly. No ghosts are around at all. The ghost is on a road trip. Just me and the ocean. How do you feel? So relaxed. Great. Me too. I want to give you something as thanks. Perhaps a piece of my crown? Ew. I wasn't expecting that. It's really heavy. It's made of pure gold. Dude, this this guy's got a whole fucking gold crown on his head. That's why he's so fucking tired and can't sleep. Snake. I suck. Snake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, where's your wool, bro? Got the broom. Hey, I got that broom. Ready to clean? Yes. Amazing. Thank you, detective. Can I keep this broom? Absolutely. Can I keep your wool? It's still weird. <laughs> hey, what's your favorite dance? Hey, so, uh, you, uh, you like, uh, dancing and, um, dance styles? I like dancing a lot, if that's what you're asking. Yeah, kind of. Uh, if you saw someone dancing, in what scenario would you most likely be like, this is such a great dance? What? I guess what I'm trying to ask is, what dance style do you like the best? Hmm, I think break dancing is so neat. If I saw someone break dancing, wow, I would swoon. I would even go so far to say, if I saw someone break dance, I would be so deeply impressed that I would want to hang out with them all the time forever. Were it so easy? That's great! Sorry for such a strange question. That's okay. I'm sure it's important to the case. Got a monkey fact? It's an inventory item? Okay. I'll go deliver it right now. Hey, he's sitting down. What if I try to lay down on this guy's bed? It's always good to take a rest. <laughs> what the fuck? Why do you lay like that? Hey, I talked to Mystery Monkey. Oh my gosh. Did you mention me? What did Mystery Monkey say? Does Mystery Monkey hate me? Uh, I'm so embarrassing. I didn't mention you. Mystery Monkey likes breakdancing the best. Breakdancing. 
I think I can do that. I gotta start practicing now, though. Oh, here's a mouthwash before I forget. Cheers! Cheers? Are you drinking it? <laughs> Cheers is British slang for thanks. Oh, ah, <laughs> uh, shit. I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> Ron, cheers, bro. Damn, damn, they're smoothing for real, for real. Is that weird guy here again? Yes, he is. Who is that guy? His mouthwash. Amazing, thanks. Am I able to use your toothpaste? I almost forgot. Here you go, D Tech. I think that's everything, right? Except the pasta. Yeah, but it's not mine. Just take it. We need it. Here's a magnifying glass. A spare magnifying glass if you're interested. Interested? Are you kidding me? There's very literally nothing I want more. This is the best day ever. All my dreams are coming true. Is there anything I can do to repay you? I could give you my lunch. Ooh, what's cooking? Pasta, as always. There's one thing I love apart from the thrill of secrecy. It's pasta. Anyway, my appetite is satiated from the deliciousness of this magnifying glass. <laughs> That's a weird way to word that. Whatever, would you like the pasta? Heck yeah! All yours. All right, I think I got everything, man. Let's make some dynamite. Wow, amazing. Shall we make some dynamite? Let's do it. Chad walk time. Boom, boom, boom. Dude, my throat just made the weirdest noise ever. Did you hear that? Is that a borp? What was that? <laughs> into a frog it's happening oh god you finish frog detective and you fucking turn into a frog <laughs> oh no oh no the transformation is happening I'm morphing. No! what did frog detective do to me well this is it time to blow this cave up larry explosives are dangerous sorry time to carefully blow this cave up i'm nervous me too and i'm not even coming to the cave can we hold hands you're not i don't like dark spaces i'm a sunny boy baby <laughs> what the fuck? i'm not a baby sorry let's do this <gasps> Ooh, mushrooms. Are we gonna see a ghost? <laughs> Blow up the cave with the frogs still inside. Hey. Damn, he's moving. It's <laughs> getting jiggy with it. What's happening in here, man? Oh, hi. Identify yourself. Who the fuck are you? Detective Frog about to throw hands. Who are you? You a ghost? I don't think so. Are you sure? Hmm. Yep, that's great. You're not wrong. So, uh, who are you? Finley. Wait a minute. Finley? I know that name. No, I meant to ask. Who's Finley? Oh, okay then. Oh, you're Martin's friend. What are you doing down here? Practicing for the dance competition. How long have I been down here? Uh, hmm. Jeez, like two weeks, I guess. You good, Finley? Wait, two weeks? Have you seen any ghosts around? <laughs> nah. Just me down here. Does Martin know you're here? I don't think so. He never comes down here. He thinks every dark space is haunted. He reads all those ghost books and thinks there's a ghost in every crevice. It is true, ghosts like to fill holes. It's good for me though. Perfect spot to train. You've been dancing for two weeks straight? Yeah, uh, yeah. Aren't you tired? I mean, I take naps. And these mushrooms are super nutritious. Gross! Mushrooms are disgusting! That's your opinion, detective. No, it's a fact! Okay. Anyway, Martin's been super spooked out because he's been hearing weird noises all over the island. Any idea what the noises could be? Hmm. I've been listening to my radio while dancing. This cave has lots of holes. The sound from your radio could easily travel up to the surface. I bet it sounds super warped too. You know, you've been trapped in here, right? The cave has been blocked off by rocks. Haha, <laughs> really? Haha, <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. Yeah, you could have died <laughs> and I'd actually be a ghost. I didn't even think of that. Anyway, we should head back up to the island. <laughs> what the fuck is this game? Oh Martin, <laughs> Martin looks so surprised. Finley? Hi, Martin. Hi. Hey. Hi. What are you doing here? I was in a cave. How did you get in? It's been sealed up for weeks. Wait a minute. As it turns out, there was never a ghost. It was Finley in the cave all along. It looks like we're holding hands with Finley. Hey, meet me and my ghost boyfriend now. A lot happens when you're in a cave with a guy for three seconds. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be in this room consulting my scientists for the next 30 minutes. And by consulting, I mean boinking by my scientists. I mean this woman. And by 30 minutes, I mean two seconds. The noises from her radio carried up to the surface and sounded super spooky. I was so sure it was a ghost. Nope, just me. It just goes to show you should never trust books. Always use the internet instead. Books are, without exception, factually inaccurate. <laughs> yep. <laughs> huh? Huh? <laughs> the fuck are you? 
Hi there, apologies for the interruption. While I agree with the detective on most issues, there are contexts in which books can be very useful and informative. The internet can also be a useful place to find information. But make sure you're getting your information from a trusted site, the more you know. So anyway, as I was saying, books have no place in our society. Thank you for opening my eyes to the uselessness of books. So just to be clear, you were practicing for the competition this whole time? Yep, I'm in it to win it. I'm still not entirely sure what this dance competition involves. Dance competition. Best dancer wins. Who else is competing? Hmm, just us, I guess. Don't forget Mo the Mouse. Who? <laughs> I think we need more entrants. I know a few hardworking friends could use a good boogie, but they won't be here tomorrow. Well, let's move the competition to today. Yeah! 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 Thanks for solving the mystery, detective. No problem at all. I had a lot of help. Larry figured out where the noises were coming from. Is that the lobster? The one that talks over everybody? Well, I'll give my thanks to Larry too. So, shall we boogie? Let's go boogie woogie time! You're my frog! Oogie boogie woogie! <laughs> what the fuck? That was amazing! <laughs> it was so funny! Oh no, cat! You're right! Mo isn't even breakdancing! She's never gonna get monkey homie now! Mo, you're, you're really fucking this up, Mo! <laughs> okay, I think we've practiced enough. Wait a minute. Who's judging? I'll do it! Oh, let's go, Mo! Mo, this is a break dancing. Oh, look at the class, look at the moves! This is so fucking cute. What's going on? It's a dance competition, Neil Hornet. Don't you get it? Yeah, look at him. Full Mike. Mike has Rayu circle. Did you see hey, it? Yo. Dude, he's not even in a green circle. Oh, let's go! Let's go! Pick the winner. I want to pick Mo. Aww. <laughs> How cute. I like that they have the homie that we pick stand in the roses. That's adorable. A little bit later. Aww, we got a picture with the homies. That's so cute. Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Frog Detective speaking. How can I help you? Great work on a haunted island mystery. I don't think even Lobster Cop could have solved that one. I think you're underestimating Lobster Cop. That's true. Lobster Cop's number one. You're probably right. Anyway, I saw you busted a groove at the dance competition. Yeah, where'd you see that? It was on TV. Every channel. In HD. Cool. I didn't even see any cameras. Well, you certainly impressed the public. My phone has been ringing off the hook. Mostly the calls are about your dancing. Oh. No. Oh, no. That's your froggy ass. But I did get one call about a case. Have you heard of Warlock Woods? I haven't. Well, there's something very strange going on there. They need our best investigator on the job. Lobster Cop wasn't available? Nah. Can you handle another case, detective? I can handle anything. Detective will return and... The case of the invisible wizard. <laughs> oh wait, hang on guys. I'm popping the game up again because I missed one achievement and I think I can get it really easily. <laughs> this is fun, but I gotta get back to work. What are you doing, Detective Frog? That's it, that was the achievement. 